uh, the Chevy Equinox. The Chevy Equinox or something similar of rental car systems. If you need a car when you go somewhere and you go through a car rental company and you say, I don't want the economy car. I don't want something luxury. I just want something big enough to carry around me and maybe some family members and a couple suitcases and my iguana. It's gonna be a Chevy Equinox. This is the most popular, but you don't see them or at least you don't know what they are, car on the road. If you do know what an Equinox is, good for you. Why are you watching this video? But the Chevrolet Equinox or Chevy Equinox or Chevy Equi or Chequi or whatever you want to call it is one of the most popular SUVs on the market today. It's been around for over 20 years and continues to be a favorite among car buyers because it sits right in the sweet spot that most people need a car to be economically as well as fun to drive. But how to get started and which model's best for you? Do you want to know? Well, let's take a look at the brief history of the Chevy Equinox. The first generation of the Chevy Equinox was released in 2005 and was available in both front wheel and all wheel drive versions. So right out the gate, we're doing it right. This version of the sub was powered by either a 3.4 liter V6 engine or a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine and featured seating for up to five passengers as well as plenty of cargo space. And it had a CD player, that's pretty cool. In 2010, Chevy put out the second gen model, which featured an even more modern design than its predecessor. It featured new technologies such as Bluetooth connectivity and navigation systems, as well as improved safety features such as lane departure warning and forward collision alert systems. Then in 2018, the third gen came out, which featured an updated design with revised exterior styling that gave it more of a modern look than before. This version also included updated powertrain lineup that included two engines, a 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder, as well as a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that offered better performance than its predecessors while still delivering excellent fuel economy ratings. Additionally, this version also included advanced and updated safety features such as automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist systems that made it one of the safest SUVs in the market today. Let's check out the pricing and lineup. So starting out, you got the base model, Chevy Equinox LS. And keep in mind that all the models come in front wheel drive or all wheel drive options. All wheel drive just runs you about 1500 bucks more. I'm gonna quote the front wheel drive prices to make you feel like you're saving money. The LS base model starts at 27,995. Then you go up to the LT, which goes up to 29,095 starting, which has things like LED running lamps and a couple of tech features. And then you got the RS, which starts at 32,095. You get some styling things like a front and rear black bow tie emblem. That's right. They call the Chevy thing a bow tie. I guess because it looks like a bow tie. It looks like a Chevy logo to me. But that's okay. If your Equinox wants to wear a bow tie, that's fine. Just don't call it a bow tie on a Silverado. Moving on. Then you got that luxury model, the Premier, starting at 33195 It includes 18-inch aluminum wheels, a hands-free gesture lift gate, so you put your foot under the car, the trunk opens, dual-zone climate control, the infotainment system with an 8-inch diagonal HD color touchscreen, USB data ports, rear view dimmer, fog lamps, heated power outside mirrors and integrated turn signal indicators, a bunch of cool tech stuff that you'd want in a car. And this is the top of the line model, the Premier, so go ahead, load her up. This is what actually makes it our pick. I mean, you got the LS base model starting at 27,995, and then you get up to the premier top of the line model for only a few grand more. Even with the all wheel drive, it's 34,795 base. Some options may take you up to 38. That's not much of a monthly payment difference between the LS base model and the premier. So our pick, if you're gonna go Chevy, load it up. Get the premier, get all the features, get that power lift gate, get that bow tie back to normal color. Just, just go for it. In conclusion, well, let me put it this way. Chevy has a lot of styling that's coming into play and they're making some really good choices. If you want a reliable car and you want something that can fit your family and you want something that's good on gas mileage, this is still the car for you. Also, it can go off road a little bit. I mean, it's an all wheel drive SUV with good ground clearance and it's sturdy. It's a Chevy. These are the people that make trucks that carry around giant brick things to construction sites where you're like, what is that even for? It's, it's like for a building, I guess. If it can carry giant brick things, then it can carry your family safely, dependably, and comfortably. Go get an Equinox, get a bow tie.